So now let's see how we can work with Photo Studio cutout feature inside of Wix. So over here you can see that I got an image, so I'm just going to click on Adjust right over here. So once I go over there, you can see on the left side that there's cutout as a feature and the only option that you see at this point of time is auto cutout. So let me just click on this and what happens is that it'll do an auto cutout and try to remove the background. But you can see that this is not perfect, so I'm just going to click on refine cutout right here so that I'm taken to another menu in a while. So you can see that it is loading right over there and an inside menu right over here. So that's restore as you can see, which will allow you to erase things out just like this. There's erase, that is it'll erase out the things right over here. And there's fix edges, which allows you to fix the edges as you can see right over here. It's, it'll try to guess what the edges are about just like that. So you can change the hardness and opacity right over here as well. You can change the size right over here, just like that. And you can change the hardness as well. For example, if I were to go this high, you can see that it is very hard. While if I were to go for opacity, it becomes softer and it becomes transparent as you can see right over there. So I'm just going to erase this out right over here. So increase, uh, not increase the size, but increase the opacity. And you can see that there's a complete erasure of things right over there. So now let me just decrease the hardness. And just like that, I can just paint over. So you really have to be careful right over here. You can also zoom in and work for more precise work just like that. So you can go over here and erase out the things that you don't want just like that. So the auto adjustment actually does try to remove the background that if it does not succeed, then what you can simply do is use this feature out right over here to erase just like this. So you can, uh, the red part over here will be erased out completely right over there. So you need to realize that out. So now let's decrease the size out over here as well and erase things out over here just like this and decrease the size even further to get onto the corners right over here just like this. So you can go around and adjust it out and you can be more precise because you have to take more time onto it just like that. Let me erase out the other part as well. So let me just increase the size and erase off these parts over here as well on the bottom and these parts as well. You can also fix out the edges right over here and you can see that it tries to fix out the edges right over here and tries to get in just like that as you can see. So you can go over here can fix out the edges right over here as you can see the tree is still there you can go around and it'll try to adjust the edges right onto the corner right over there as well so just click, click over here so now i'm going to go to restore and decrease the size and get all the inner things right over here so let me just uh, undo this out and slowly i'm going to get out the part that i don't want removed so you can see that even the inner portion they are actually red so i don't want this out so i can simply go over here and paint out the things right over there as you can see so i can just go over here paint out these things paint out these things right over here paint out and then i'm going to just erase the imperfections which are outside just like this so outside I'm just going to erase this out and inside i'm just going to go around and work with it just like that so once i'm happy with the output i can simply press apply right over here and there's our refined buildings as you can see i can also add in a background color for example and go with the effect i want to so i can go for blue something like black and so forth i'm just going to go for blue because it hides many of the options right over here and you can see that there's like an imperfection going on here so i can simply go to refine and then refine this portion out right over here so let me just go to refine so that it loads and what i want to do is i want to restore this part out just like this i'm just going to draw on top and i'm going to apply so that is corrected right over here so i'm just going to go to crop and crop this area out just like that and then i can press save right over here so once i save it what happens is that everything is saved out everything is adjusted and what you can what it happens is that the changes are reflected on the web page as well just like that so that is how you can use the studio cutout option inside of uh, wix for the editor so hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe